So here we have the positector and this type of device is what would be used to measure your dry film thickness by an inspector. Which this one here has exceeded what the minimum requirements are. So you do want to be careful if you do get someone out to inspect it. You do want them to do the same spot multiple times and then calculate the averages. Um, as you can see, those numbers are cycling every time I sort of push down. All right, so these machines do need to be calibrated. They are quite sensitive. And to be completely fair, they should probably be treated more as an indicative thickness um, than, you know, really a completely accurate reading of what that thickness is. So there's a lot of things that can actually affect this piece of apparatus um, as far as consistency. So the other little good point is if you do have, you know, you've gone back three times, you've recoded, it all looks sort of like what we're seeing here, these high ridges, that continuous sort of ridge shape that we sort of pointed out in that wet film gauge um, demonstration that we did earlier, is you can get a section sort of cut out, the destructive method, and using calipers and then comparing that to what the piece of equipment has been measuring. Um, but, you know, the other thing as well, when you do have a good technique as far as the application of the membrane. You can clearly see here, because of the ridges, um, that it has been applied quite thick. And the other thing that's a you know, question that we get all the time is why do we recommend that crosshatch sort of detail? And it's really because it's another good visual inspection. So you can see here that we have the ridges going in opposite directions to each other, which clearly indicates that two coats have been applied. It's the only way to get this texture is by applying those coats in opposite directions, allowing that first coat to dry, and then doing your second coat, obviously in that, in that opposite direction.